This is where I desperately fight the urge to say it's just because I love animals. It was probably a little bit more than that for me. I guess the health of animals has always been something that's really interested me in a way that nothing else has. One thing I have had an interest in for quite a few years now is pedigree dog health. Um, I was fascinated with breeding and I was fascinated with inherited disease. And I guess for me, the natural way to explore that was to see if I could take some time to do some research on the topic. Um, I like a challenge. <laughs> um, and I do love dogs, it interests me. So I guess, even though it probably will be quite hard at times, from just less than a year researching, I've learned that there's lots of ups and downs. I guess it will feel worth it in the end. Well, so far we've really been focusing on the attitudes of vets and breeders towards pedigree dog breeding, canine inherited disease and health schemes. And you think owners will be the missing part of the puzzle. Hmm. Um, and what we've got from vets and pedigree dog breeders has been really interesting. Yeah. So. so, so far we've looked at pedigree dog breeders. And we've done a really big questionnaire that was sent out to a few thousand breeders in this country. And we also did a similar sort of sister questionnaire of vets. Well, I've been working with Rachel Dean, who's the director of the Centre for Evidence-Based Veterinary Medicine. And um, I'm also supervised by Richard Lee and Caroline Quamby, who are both staff within the vet school. Um, and they've been really good, especially with making decisions, because it is a complex topic and it's good to get um, a good few views on what you intend to do and what you intend to get out of it. Sort of speaking as an undergrad just for a second, I've, I've found it really good. I can't fault the course. I honestly feel like we've had a lot of hands-on time where we've been able to you know, boost our practical skills and go over things. And that does make you feel more confident when you go out and practice then on placement. Um, and as a postgrad, the facilities have been really good as well. There's certainly sort of a wealth of information that you can get hold of, and there's plenty of help available to source information outside of the university as well. Yeah, well, my, my funding has come through the Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine, and their funding comes from Novartis. Um, so for this year, that's who I've been funded by. In terms of making use of funding in the future, we are hoping to apply for, for some external sources, but we'll have to wait and see.